How are you doing guys? Hope you didn't mind, but last week I had the week off because I was away on a little holiday. And if we look really close, it appears that puberty's kicked in a little bit and uh, can actually start growing a little bit of a beard. So that's a plus. But today what's also a plus is uh, we're making a zucchini pizza, uh, zucchini pizza based crust. Uh, so really low in fat, low in sugar, uh, not a lot of pro processed crap and that sort of thing in it. Um, be mindful that you can put your own toppings on the top, but we're focusing on the crust today. And uh, yeah, let's go down and show you how to do it. <laughs> What we need to do is then wrap it up and then actually squeeze the liquid out of the zucchini, all the water that's left in there. It may take a minute or so, but you need to try and make it as dry as possible. So once you're happy with that, you're going to empty your zucchini into a new bowl. Gonna crack in one egg. Chuck in a little bit of salt. Lots of pepper. A teaspoon of garlic. And in about three tablespoons of wholemeal self-raising flour. What we do is mix that up with our hands. Then onto a grease baking or pizza tray. Just gonna take our mixture, flatten it down into the shape and the width that we'd like our pizza to be. So I prefer more of a, a thinner crust with my pizza. And then once you're happy with the size and width, that can go into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about eight to 10 minutes, just so the edges start to brown up a little bit and should be able to lift off the tray nice and easy. So that one's just come out of the oven and it's been in there for about 10 minutes, as you can see, nice and golden around the outside. So quite firm to the touch. And now we need to, need to add our toppings. So we're gonna start off with a bit of a tomato uh, base. One thing with my pizzas, guys, is I'm not the biggest fan of uh, like a lot of sauce, a lot of cheese and that sort of thing. Um, so I try to keep it a bit minimal. That way I still get the flavors of the toppings that I actually want to taste and put on them. To that, I'm gonna put some tomato, some fresh tomato. Some yellow and red capsicum. Chopped mushrooms. Gonna put some slices of chicken. Throw in some pancetta or prosciutto. Again, if you can have pizza, splurge a little bit. Salt does have its place in the body, as well as fat. And then some cherry boccaccini. Some chopped basil. And then some good fresh parmesan cheese. And then back in our oven. And this time it's gonna take about 15 minutes. I would drop the heat a little bit, so maybe down to 180. All right, and straight out of the oven, a few extra touches of green, just in basil. And that is perfect. Drips and all. There you go guys, our zucchini crust pizza. So if you're one of the people who aren't a big fan of vegetables, Try and get them in, in the form of pizza. Um, can't go wrong with that. I've seen people do it with cauliflower. Um, you know, I've got a bit of a hard one for sweet potato, so I wanna try that soon. Uh, if you guys have any amendments or any ideas um, that you want me to try, make sure you give me a yell in the comments below. Anything else you wanna see, again, give me a yell. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And um, as always, happy eating, guys. I'll see you soon.